Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today on this sensational Saturday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light, and many blessings are yet to come. And thank you for the support and come and see what I'm about today. And if you can, if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel free and comfortable, please go ahead and drop me a few lines. I love to hear the positive feedback. And if you enjoy what you are listening to, please give me a big fat thumbs up. I appreciate that also. And thank you for the support. And for my returning subs, as always... Thank you for the love and support as I do with you. And love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you also. And thank you for returning. Today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Manifesting Your Abundance. Abundance is not, you know what, when people always hear abundance, they always think of money. But it has something to do further than money. It's like knowledge. You know, abundance of knowledge, abundance of love, abundance of, you know, respect. It's just all those things. You have to be able to manifest those. You have to be able to believe that anything can happen for you if you just believe. And it's just so many things that we go through nowadays. It's just like these speed bumps and these minor setbacks have us not believing that we can manifest things and, you know and sometimes we can sometimes it's not but it's all the way we look at things because if we're going through a negative situation we sometimes we will look straight ahead and not actually go abroad you know just just look at it as a different perspective you know and it's just sometimes it just depends on the situation you're truly going through we will just feel like oh i'm never going to get out of this situation or oh i'm never going to do this i'm never you have to stop thinking that you have to really stop thinking that always try to think of the positive because if you keep thinking that you are not going to ever get out of something or you're not going to ever you know if you use those negative words you're basically putting that out to the universe and that puts a halt on your abundance so you have to really stop doing that even if you are not there you have to always look at the tiny little signs that you are getting to recognize you know what you're on the right path or you know what don't give up you know just keep pushing you can take a break but just keep pushing you know you always have the angel that's has you know just keeps on trying to hold your back like you know what you you got this you got this you know you have to look at all the signs that are around you to know that things are for you in your favor they really are you know there's just so many different things that we go through it could be people that we're dealing with it could be the situation we're in it could be the job you're at or the people or just your surroundings or your energy but you have to be able to pray meditate block all those things out and think positive you know what I might not be where I'm at right now but it could be worse and I say that in a lot of my videos you know you could be not where you're at it could be a lot worse because there's always somebody's situation that's worse off than ours and we will sometimes be ungrateful for the things there's always there's some people out there there, you know what? It could be worse. I could be this and this and that. And there's some people I have even met that, you know, they were homeless. And that's like living homeless. And I didn't never think, how would you love to live homeless? But it's like, you know, I met somebody and they were telling me about that because they're free. They're, you know, they don't have no, you don't have any kind of responsibilities and stuff like that. You don't have any kind of worries. Only thing they got to worry about is a place to, you know, a place to sleep and a place to eat. That was the only thing that they really had to worry about. And it's just the way they're living, you know, situation that makes you sad and want to be able to help them out. But, you know, it made me really grateful and how I looked out on life because it's just like, you know, made me feel kind of bad. Like, dang, you know, I'm sorry for complaining about this and this and this and that. And these people are out here and they're living on the streets. And especially with these different weather conditions that it could be really, you know, not, not good. So it's just like manifesting the things that you want you have to be able to pray you have to be able to have a blueprint you know have ideas written down you know jot down the things that you want to do I do it every day and then when it's just like you know looking at my social media stuff like the stuff that I used to put out like last year and a year before and a year before that 
it used to be negative. It used to be to where I worried about who was in and out of my life and stuff like that. Now it's just like, you know, if you're there, you're there. You're not, you're not. You know, I don't, I don't worry about stuff like that because I feel like anybody is in your life, they have came across you for a reason. And they didn't came across you for a reason. It's just the right ones will be in your life there to stay. So you don't have to ever worry about the people are in or out of your life. Because sometimes we do worry about that. Because I know when I started my journey and it was just like people were around me that knew my situation that I was in. And they said they were going to be there. <laughs> and at this journey right now, I'm here by myself. You know, I got the spirit guys around me. I'm here by myself physically having to go through everything I'm going through. But I'm okay. Um, okay. You know, I got a few good friends that I can talk to about things and it is just no judgment or anything like that. And I'm very blessed to have them in my life. And, you know, if they're watching my video, you know who you are. So I'm very blessed for those, those few people that I have in my life. And it's just like, when you start your journey and you start wanting to manifest things and you want to be able to do things or whatever, it's just that you have to have that drive. You have to have like that passion. You know, I've said that in other videos. You have to have that passion, that positivity, and, you know, that promise that you know, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm on your journey. You, you're going to have to go through a lot of different things. But that's all your process of growing. It's just like we're under a big test. We really are. Because it's just like when you say, oh, I'm not going to let this bother me no more. I'm just going to, you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to go take the bull by the horns and just do it. And then next thing you know, something pops right dead in your life just to see how you're going to react to it. Now, if you know you're not going to react to it like you said you were, that when you that's when you know you're 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 on the right path you're growing you're learning it's just like everything is a lesson and a blessing it's just there to strengthen you and it's just like the universe is not putting on anything to punish us it's for us to learn embrace what we're going through and live on and move on and just learn from it and you'll be able to help somebody else you never know so when that situation comes along again you already know how to deal with it you already know how to deal with it. So manifesting your abundance is just like when you're set on one thing. And I've said this many times before. When you're set on one thing, there will be something that will come in your path and collaborate right with that. And make your idea merge out. to be something else totally different. It could be mind-blowing. And you never know where it's going to take you. You never know where your journey is going to take you. It's like your higher self knows, but you don't know. Your soul might even know, but you don't know. But it's just bringing you step close, closer and closer to where you need to be to get that infinite abundance. Because like I said, I feel it every day. Even though it's just like when you look at different YouTubers, there's just some that has like millions and millions of subscribers, millions and millions of views and stuff like that. But you have to, like with my situation with me being a vlogger, you have to start from the bottom. You know, you're blessed if you actually get those, you know... 1.4k whatever many subscribers and all that things that's nice you know but I'm, I'm blessed for the fact that i got what i have you know i got people who are actually they love my videos they love what my videos uh consist of you know the, the ideas that i come out and say and that that's the true blessing to me when i know i'm doing that i'm doing my job knowing i'm helping people heal as i heal myself so it's just like when I go through my situation, it has taught me so much. And we're all human. We're going to have days that, you know, we're depressed and we're going to have days that we're sad and, you know, feel like Ugh, we're being punished. But it's really not that way. You have to be able to look past all those things, even though it could be bad at sometimes it, it feels like that. You have to look past and, you know, look at a different perspective. And you may not know what it's trying to teach you. You have to be able to be quiet and sit there and just think. You know, without any stress, without any, you know, bad energy or whatever. But just look at it. It's just like, you know, what is this situation trying to teach me? What am I learning from this? And then it's just like, you'll be able to get what you need. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I said I'm going to go ahead and make a few videos and decide what I'm going to go ahead and post up today and what I'm going to post up tomorrow. And... I will talk to you later. I will keep you guys in my prayers, and I hope you do the same thing for me. On right, today, I'm listening to relaxing, ethereal music, galaxy, um, obedient meditation, ambient meditation. And I will talk to you later. I'm going to go ahead and list that down below if you want to be interested in listening to it. It's very calming.
listen to it feels like I'm out there in a, <laughs> I don't know, walking on the moon or something like that. So, but if you can, like and subscribe, even hit the notification button. And drop me a line or two. Like I said, I love positive feedback. And guys, I hope you have a safe weekend and blessed one. And much love to you. Peace. And wow.